Welcome back to this Guild Wars Let's Play. Your Sambo, Seraphis, heals a lot. And joining me as always, standing in the river with me with the beautiful snowy capped mountains in the background, is the wonderful Regina Lacerda. Good evening to you, miss. Miss, actually... Good evening, well, Sambo. Look, <laughs> what is that? You look, like, you look like you're going to the toilet <laughs> in the river. What are you doing? Aww. <laughs> It's supposed to be my excited clapping. Ex okay. I'm excited to be here. Oh my god. What? what oh, okay. you're just. No, well, tell me what mean. the emote is and we'll see what the monk does. What What do you type? Uh, slash excited? Ex um, 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 yes. Okay. Uh, slash excited. Whoops. That's not how you spell excited Sambo. Idiot. Here we go. See. That's far more dignified. You look like you're you, you look like you're at a country hoedown, for God's sake. You know, it's obviously we're brought up in different sides of the fence. Oh, now what's she doing? <laughs> How's that one then for you? Pick me. What? Okay, what's the emote for that one? <laughs> pick me. Pick me. All right, let's try that one. Pick me. Pick me. Hello. Hello. Uh. -uh. They didn't pick me. All right, so I think we've just started a new tradition, as it has been for the last few episodes, that I think the beginning of each of our Let's Plays with Reggie has to be an emote learning session. She seems to come up with all of these emotes that I've never seen before in the game. I guess you've got to be useful I'm for something. I'm going to run out eventually. Yeah, you probably will eventually run out. Although, I wonder how many hey, there are. did you say I have to be useful for something? I might have. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to remember that one. Oh, God. And you know that she will, folks. You know that she will. All right. Let's have a look at our quest log. And You're I'm probably going to give it back to you double. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah, look at her. She's nodding at me. Um, you might remember in our last episode, folks, we ended up here in the beautiful mountains, uh, and we just finished. Uh, there were a whole bunch of, uh, what, aloe, scaly, anyway, monsters that Reggie called out that we had to fight. And next up was my little quest, my domination magic quest here, where we have to head east from Foible Sphere into the woods and destroy the Scale Brood. And if we look on our map, you can see, uh, basically, if we follow this river north, about halfway up the next peninsula is my little asterisk. So we're going to go there and do that. And then I think, Reggie, you've got a quest in this area as well, one that's unique to you, I think. Is that right? Well, I've got a, I've got a quest that I've got to hand in. Oh, okay, yep, perfect. Which is not far from, I think, where yours needs to be handed in. Brilliant. All right, without further ado, let's go there. And, of course, you might remember last time we had full bags. And look at mine. Mine are just overflowing to the brim. And I've run out of salvaging kits, so I can't salvage anything can't pick up this gear i have to leave it all here it's the worst feeling in the world reggie i wish we had more bag space it's heartbreaking having to leave all the pretty all the loot. shiny things all the shinies it's horrible mm. all right so we might as well attack uh these monsters along the way uh as reggie said in our last episode whoa that one died really fast um xp is yeah. xp it did didn't it I, think I, I went to help the squishy and it didn't have to. I know, it's amazing. First for everything. Um, I think we have to follow the river rather than cut across. I'm just going to play it safe. Not sure exactly where we need to go, but it looks like it's on the banks of the river anyway. It may even be a portal into another zone. I honestly don't know. We'll soon find out, I guess. And Never know until you try. That's right. Scale fin, we'll take that. Thank you very much. And of course, you'll notice that the enchantments have stayed on. That's because we've stayed in this uh, explorable area. We haven't been back to an outpost. We're pretty sure that all of your enchantments disappear, or they get stripped off you once you do zone back into a hub or a city, which would make sense, of course. Well, look at that. There's one tucked up there, eh? Your view of the target is obstructed. All right. Lucky, lucky monster. That's all right. I'll just go to the monster. Oh, whoops. I've carried on ahead. Whoopsie. I'm going to come up and see you. I may I may have no, friends. No, it's all right. It's squishy. I've done it. Oh, okay. I may, I may have brought company. And would you believe it? Windows is going nuts again. I'm down to two frames per second. What is going on? In, the, in between our episode filming, I did uh, go in and defrag and do all sorts of stuff and shut down extra processes so I've got no idea what's making 
My computer goes so horribly slow and yucky. Seems to have a mind of its own. But let's just persist. I can see that my, my hard drive is thrashing away, so it's something to do with the hard drive. Not sure what. But we'll persist if you don't mind. Sorry about that for the viewers at home. And there you go. You can see it's cleared. It seems to only happen when we're in combat, which makes no sense whatsoever. Anyway, we're taking the northern branch here of the, the two. Going north. And now it's working perfectly fine. So whatever it is, definitely has a mind of its own. Um, how does the game run on your machine? I mean, mine, it's 99.9% .9 of the time it runs like an absolute dream and then something happens with Windows and the hard drive goes nuts and I get about one frame per second. Do you ever get that, Reggie? I very rarely get a problem with it. I, yeah, I um, run beautifully when I'm playing on my own and beautifully when I'm playing with other people and yeah yeah it it, <clears throat> it the computer even though my computer hasn't been great in a, a little while yeah <laughs> um, it still copes very well very very well with right, this I game think, I'm pretty sure that whatever issues I'm experiencing um, have nothing to do with the game itself uh, because it's one of those games that just seems to run beautifully on any machine definitely something to do with my hardware and there it goes again and I'm gonna look around at my hardware yep it's whenever this happens my hard drive light is just constantly on it's as if Windows has decided to I don't know do a restore point or um, I don't know index the hard drive or something and now it's oh, the hard drive's not flashing oh lord only knows I probably should go and investigate how you can tell Something in Windows Vista, which is what I'm running on, and I know I should be running on Windows 7. Actually, that's a point. What are you guys running uh, Guild Wars on? Uh, Windows 7. Yeah, Windows 7 is definitely yeah. definitely the gamer's choice of operating system. I think I need to upgrade. Vista is just horrible because it's got uh, really... To be honest, I actually skipped Vista. Yeah, you know what? I wish I'd I done the same. I never installed it. Well, I mean, uh, one thing I do know about Vista... Uh, as we uh, chomp our way through these mobs uh, in Wizard's Folly is that it has horribly poor memory management. So even though I have 6 gigabyte of RAM, I don't think all of that is available to any software that's running. And that's probably half the reason. It's probably running out of memory or something. Oh, and look at it. It's just going I crazy. run out of memory all the time, and that's got nothing to do with computers. <laughs> oh, dear. This is horrible. We're down to a, a hefty two frames per second. And now we're back to normal. What? I'd love to know what's going on. There is, I've got nothing running in the background. All my browsers have been shut down. All my processes, all my antivirus, everything's off. It's bizarre. I'm not giving a very good impression of the game whatsoever. And there we go. Now we're back to 30, 40, 50 frames per second. Lord only knows. I think it's all down to the way I hold my mouth, Reggie. Something like that. Something technical like that. I think it is. You need to stop sticking your tongue out the side. Yeah. How do you know I do that when I play? <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine it. Well, it's it's a sign of intense concentration. You know, that's what us guys do. You know. Yes. <clears throat> yes. You tell yourself that, and you'll you'll be fine. <laughs> She's not being very nice to me. It's because I wasn't very nice to her. Is it? Oh, hey, we're right by my asterisk. So it's once we've killed this mob, ah. it's going to be somewhere near here. So it wasn't that far away after all. All right, so it's up. Oh, can you believe it? It's up the top of that hill. So maybe... We, oh, oh, look, there's a... Of course it is. There's a gap over here, though, I think. So maybe we can scoot around the gap. Now that's interesting, it lags in the same place. Let me run back and see if it does it again. No. Oh, I don't know, I thought maybe I'd stumbled on something there, but no. No rhyme or reason to it, and now it's running perfectly fine. Alright, so up we go. Somewhere up here there might be a person. Oh no, it's scale that we're looking for, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure, I can't see a way up here. Oh, I've just run. Oh, past something red just ran past me, but I didn't see it. Okay, this is weird. Now it's saying it's back on the other side of of the mountain. 
That's bizarre. Lovely. So maybe there... Ah, it could be that red thing that ran past me before. Oh, okay. And I ignored it. Oh, maybe. It's, I think what I'm looking for, it's called a scale brood. I took that as meaning a brood of scale. In other words, a whole bunch of them. But maybe it means something else. Ah, but it could mean a scale called a brood. Could be. That's a black bear. That's not one. But you never know when a pelt might drop, and it didn't. Damn. Alright, so according to the map... I don't see any more scale around. No, according to that, it's I'm standing on top of it. This is exactly where we should be. Let's have a check. Head east from Foible's Fair to the woods and destroy the scale brood. Um, a small army of scale are marching through the woods to the east. I will teach you a few skills that should help you dispatch them. Uh, yeah. It's meant to be right here. Okay. That is bizarre. Does the game not know that there's no more scale around? Obviously not. Let's just go north a little bit in case maybe they've gone wandering. Or maybe it's glitched. Maybe it's all part of part of my troubles. Although we can't seem to go north of here. Can't run through the water. Maybe, because I haven't come from Foible's Fair, maybe we have to trigger them or something. Maybe it's through... through... A, I don't know. Maybe it's through here somewhere. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I, because I guess if we'd come from Foible's Fair, we would have run through this little gauntlet here. Perhaps we have to mm. run through it and trigger something. Who knows? We'll give it a go. If we don't have any joy, we'll go and do your quest, I think. <laughs> well, it's every kill is just a little bit more XP. Yep, nothing wrong with that. And look, there's another one of your red iris flowers, but I bet you you can't pick it up because you've got a full inventory, right? I can't get it. And I don't think I can either. No. Oh, it's just such a horrible feeling. We need to get ourselves to an outpost at some point so that we can empty our bags. Good lord. Indeed. Because we've got crafting items that I'm not prepared to give up. Going yeah. to an outpost only gives me a few slots anyway. Exactly. I've only got a couple of slots for actual items to pick up because we're, um, as you uh, probably uh, noticed in the last episode, folks, uh, Reggie was saying, you know, it really does pay to salvage your white items um, rather than sell them because that will give you crafting material. And of course that does mean while we're slightly limited on our bag space, we're at a bit of a disadvantage. You can see here, we've got one bag, one belt pouch, and there's still three more slots there that we're able to get bags for, but not just yet. We have to wait till a little bit further in the game. I'm not seeing any more scale on here. We've had a few brown bears. I know, I can't Black see bears, any either. But... Well, maybe the game is Quite just... Quite the mystery. Yeah, maybe it's just not behaving. Maybe that's why I'm getting a few glitches. Who knows? Let's switch to your quest then. and Because you said yours was nearby and we'll probably pick up mine. Uh, In a later episode, yep, perhaps it'll reset. we have to go south for mine. Okay, no problem. Maybe the scale will decide to appear along the way. Not that I have any well, issues. There's always a chance of that. Oh, well, there not that it's any problem. There wasn't item that you had to pick up to show that you killed all the scale, was there? That you can't hold because you've got no bag space. Oh, maybe. Um, what does it because say? Because I had the, I had to pick up the Allo root. Okay, I'm having a look. That's assigned to you. So it's not that one. That one's assigned to you as well. Regina, they all, no, they're all assigned to you as far as I can tell. But hey, we get to romp around through the beautiful countryside. Nothing wrong with that. There's an air staff that's assigned Nothing to me. Nothing wrong with that at all. Oh, hang on, what's that one over there? No, that's assigned to you as well. breaks my heart that I can't get all those items. I know, it's like leaving behind pure cash, isn't it? It's so horrible. It is. 
is absolutely like leaving behind cash. Oh, I've come across a merchant. Oh, no way. It's... It is unusual coming across merchants outside of a hut. It is, but, but that's very handy. And what a cool... Look at this, folks. How cool does this village look? And look at the textures on the buildings there. It looks so good. Oh, I love this game. Oh, she's right. Look at that. A merchant... And uh, you're definitely right in terms of it being unusual because normally merchants are in town hubs. You very rarely find them out in an explorable area, but hallelujah. And they've got a salvage kit. Beautiful. Salvage kits are good. Yep, and I've got a highly salvageable item, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, what do we got? Better. Unidentified, highly salvageable. Radio. let's buy a salvage kit. Purchase. And there it is. Right. Unidentified. Let's identify that one. Jolly good. Let's salvage all of our white stuff. Get more crafting material. Improved sale value. We like that. Highly salvageable. We like that as well. And we've got all sorts of crafting material here that we don't want to get rid of. And we can sell the bow there because it has an improved sell value. Very nice. Improved sell values are always nice. Aren't they? 60 gold that was instead of about 4. So I'm very happy with that. Oh, it's, it, it always goes up quite a lot when there's an improved sell value. You do find it tends to improve a lot yeah it's not a it's not a minor increase although having said that you know what no. after all of my selling up and salvaging i still only have four free slots in my inventory terrible <laughs> oh dear it's going to be a nightmare isn't it all right i'm ready to rock when you are on your quest Lovely. and we think I'm this is a garab i've just i've used an entire salvage kit just then so i'm just going to grab a second one wow wow <laughs> going nuts I had a lot that needed to be salvaged clearly whoa spider yikes and hopefully I don't jinx it but of course now we seem to be running perfectly no glitches whatever Windows was I doing don't say that Sambo oh I know I hope I don't jinx it but Windows seems to have finished doing whatever it was doing so we're running nicely now Spider leg. Lovely. Ah oh, man, it's so cool. Look, this area looks different again. It just looks amazing. So let's have a look on the map where we are. You can see we're right down the very bottom here of Wizard's Folly in the green, the green section of it, obviously, not the snowy section. So is this quest of yours? Yes, Aiden. He's got to. His... Oh, is this your quest person? I is it? I think it's. Yes, I think it is one of the ranger quests that I'm handing it to him. Ah, uh, yep, that'd be right. He looks like he's got a bow there. Yes, because he's given me a bit of uh, experience points and given oh, me a good. clap. And I'm just going to drop the rest of these quest items because he doesn't need them. He obviously doesn't want them. And oh, I so you only them, needed so. the one? That's good. I only needed the one and I had eight on me. <laughs> it's always the way. At least it'll free up some bag space. That's good. Now, your next yes. class quest. I've got one as well. Um, my one is over in... Uh, where is it? Lakeside County. So it's actually... I'd probably... Looks like I'd, I'd have to map travel to Ashford Abbey for my other one. What about you? Mm -hmm. Well, my other one is in the catacombs. Which oh, okay. is off Ashford Abbey. Well, let's... Take us to Ashford Abbey then. Oh, hang on. Do we have to resign, don't we? I think we have to resign. We have to make ourselves pass out. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Look at that synchronous resignation. <laughs> How very artful of us. It's so wrong. It is. It's very bizarre. Where have we ended up? We've Foibles ended up Fair. in Foibles Fair. All right. Are you able to map travel us to the... Abbey. I can indeed. Beautiful. Travelling to Ashford Abbey. Count down there. As it rains here mm. in Foibles Fair. Yep, raining one day, sunny the next. Welcome to Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, we've probably got time for one more of our quests. So your choice, do you want to do my one called Protection pair Prayers or would you like to dive back into the catacombs? I think maybe we should do the Protection Prayers. All right, change it up a bit. I'm up for that. Hmm. Let's head out the Lovely. front. And of course, we all remember what's out the front here. The good old worms. Ah, uh, the worms. Yeah, the bane of our existence when we're a newbie. <laughs> all right, what do I have to do? Let's have a look. It just says Lakeside County. So, keep Farah alive while she hunts down the infamous Elaine. I need you to escort Farah Capo. Oh, wait a minute. Where's... Uh, now she was back at... Um... Green Hills, yeah, there Green Hills a, County. A portal to go Green Hills County. Yeah. Okay, let's do a quick run. It's just a bit north of here. Sorry about that. I didn't realise. I thought it was actually an objective in here. But yeah, you're right. Because, of course, we picked picked that quest up over at the border. Uh, so we're going to have to go back there. Hopefully she's waiting for us. Unlike my other quest objective. Ah, I have a friend. And he's got teeth. Is it a wolf? Yeah, yeah. Or a worm? It's it's actually now two wolves. Yikes! Because if it's a worm, I'm ignoring it. <laughs> I would too. Oh, no, no, sadly. Just pop back under the ground sooner or later. Yeah, isn't it annoying? It always used to frustrate me when I first started the game. You'd be attacking the damn worm, and then halfway through your cast, they disappear underground, and you couldn't actually hit them. So annoying. Oh, and whoops, I've forgotten to put an enchantment on the party and of course I think we're proving ourselves right here <laughs> that if you do enter an outpost your enchantments disappear let's make sure we're all buffed up there we go selecting Reggie hitting the space bar oh look, there's a hidden stash that's oh, unusual Reggie ran right past a shopping mall interesting <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's. Are you feeling oh, okay? I... Good lord. Uh, it's been a long day. Maybe I'm just a little bit tired. Maybe it has been now, a long I've day. Now I've come up in the conversation. It says Farrah Capo says try to keep up. Oh. So maybe we've um, found her. Oh, I guess we must have. Or she's found us. I don't know. Well, actually, you know what? Um, oh, there goes Windows again. Um, I've noticed she's in our party, so I guess we'll be able to spacebar run auto follow to her. We should be able to find her pretty quickly. Ah, oh, there, well, she, there goes. she is. She's telling us to try and keep up, and she's stationary. Yeah. That makes sense. Not. And now she's walking. Oh God! Don't tell me she's oh. going to walk the whole way. Please no. <laughs> Listen, woman, you know you can run. Can we poke her? Maybe quite I'll a little swagger on her as well, doesn't she? Yeah. Oh, there we go. That set her off. Uh, now she's going to run. What did you do to her? I gave her an enchantment. I'm presuming it was just a complete fluke. But anyway, we'll pretend that my enchantment okay. made her run. <laughs> oh, she's going to run us straight through Beautiful. some bandits. Of course she is. Is she going to stop and help though? Oh, yes she is. That's okay. Oh, yeah, she's coming back to fight. That's the main right. thing. That's okay. Whoops, I've run out of energy. Oh, and there goes Reggie leveling oh. up to level 7. Our new uh, Ranger Necromancer level 7. Congratulations to you. Well oh, thank done. you very much. And of course, uh, for you guys at home, you'll know full well that that means Reggie now has a bunch of uh, skill points that she can assign, of course. Um, and we'll look at that screen in a minute. Not enough energy to cast spells. Bad, bad Sambo. And it looks like I have to heal Farrah Capo as well, but I can't. Got no energy. Dear, oh dear. Oh, well, she's, she's going backwards and forwards. With her health. Yeah. At the moment. Which way is she going? Oh, come on, Windows. It's doing it again, and now it's not. Really got to sort that out. Yeah, where is she off to? 
Oh, she's running straight into a field of bandits. That makes sense. Let's give her a bit of a heal. Not enough energy uh, still. Yeah. Why do I have no, absolutely no energy? It's not regening for some reason. That's bizarre. That is bizarre. Oh, I know why. I think it's because I'm um I'm actually maintaining four enchantments at the moment. So perhaps that's actually having an impact on my ability. Yes, it is. My energy is just at four. So that's very interesting. Double click to dismiss. I'm just going to take some enchants off us all. There we go. Now I've got my energy back. Because I think I probably need heals more than the enchant at the moment. So there you go. Something learnt, folks. If you're maintaining lots of enchantments, it saps your energy bad. So were they Mesmer skills that you were maintaining? No, it was actually Monk uh, Retribution, the the one that you like. It obviously has a high cost, an ongoing high cost. Uh. That's very interesting. And there we go. We can see the Great Wall of Ascalon off in the background there. That will become uh, very significant. There it is again. Very significant to you guys watching very soon uh, as we head towards the last quests uh, in this area, that wall is very iconic. I'm sure you remember the wall, Reggie. I remember it many times. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and now she's gone oh, back to walking. Now she's walking again. All right, so I have of to return course. to Guardsin the Protector uh, for my reward. So I think that's straight through here. Well, that was good. At least we got that one out of the way. We did. That one wasn't too painful to, to, to do. Yeah. And this guy's just around the corner by the looks of things. So once again, you can hold Alt key and see through the, uh, the geometry and the scenery and go straight to where you need to go. There he is, except 250 XP. Jolly good. Now my quest log is looking rather miserable. I have the uh, very last quest I have one more class quest which is my domination uh, at the uh, the one that we were trying to find that scale brood I'm guessing that we'll probably have to try that in uh, the next episode because it'll probably have to reset or something like that and then we've got char at the gate now how are you looking have you got one more class quest as well I do I have the one that's uh, taking place in the catacombs and I have char at the gate okay so it looks to me, folks, like we're on the home stretch, I'd say. Uh, but that will have to wait until our next episode because, as always, we've run out of time. It goes way too fast. Ah, so I'd say we're probably... Let's have a look. Once we've done our class quests, we could probably um, go around, and like you said earlier, Reggie, uh, when we were offline, go around all the outposts and double-check that we haven't missed anything. And then, as long as we've got that knocked away probably head to the char at the gate uh, quest which is one of the iconic ending quests. Do you agree with that? I'd, I'd say that sounds like a plan. I do, yep. Definitely. Yep. That one is uh, it's one definitely... of the last ones to do in this uh, stage of the game. Yeah, and then it's probably um, it'll probably be time for us to leave this area. So it's getting very exciting. Nearly there folks. Other than that, I think it's time for us to go. So once again, Reggie, thank you very much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Oh, look at that. She's clapping. Hang on. Um, what's, a, what's another emote that I learned from her the other day? Um, let's try this one. Dull. It wasn't very appropriate, but it's the only one I could remember. <laughs> Whoops. Anyhow, folks, thank you very much for joining us in this episode. We certainly hope that you join us in the next one as we inch closer and closer to the end of the beginning area. Uh, Reggie, hopefully you'll be joining us again next week. Of course I will be. Excellent. Wouldn't be a Guild Wars episode without you and your constant paying out of me, which I dearly love. <clears throat> so anyway, <laughs> There's no shortage of that coming from Reggie, is there? Uh, and we'll have to um, figure out, have you got any idea what colour your hair will be next week? Your in real life hair? Oh, maybe by then I would have shaved my head. Oh, God. No. <laughs> no. She, she knows no, no bounds. <laughs> 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 oh, my Lord. 
All right. Well, thanks again, folks. And we certainly hope that you join us next week for our continuing adventures in Guild Wars. In the meantime, it's goodbye from me, Seraphis. Goodbye from Reggie. And take care. I hope you're having a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.